Thanks very much. For those of you just tuning in, as expected, the House has gone ahead, as promised, and uh, voted to repeal uh, the health care law, the single greatest crowning achievement of the last Congress. But that might be as far as it gets to Illinois Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez, who voted no on repealing the health care law. Congressman, obviously, you thought this was a bad idea. Do you think there are enough of your colleagues in the Senate, that is, in the Democratic part of the Senate, to, to keep this from going any further? Well, I, I think what you're going to find, Neil, here is that uh, I, I'm not quite sure why we did it today. There are so many pressing, important issues that we could have put attention to. I guess people needed this politically uh, to get done here because, quite honestly, this isn't going anywhere. Uh, I think we all understand it's going to take 60 votes. I don't know why we keep talking about 47 and we get four more Democrats. Look, it's going to take 60 votes uh, to get this on any calendar in the Senate. So it I won't be a simple majority happening. even if it got there. It would take that supermajority and either way you don't think it's there what do you what do you what do you what do you think neil wouldn't you and i put good money on you got to overcome a you know no 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 in this part congressman you're right the numbers would seem to 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 state that case but now let me ask you what if this is just a negotiating tactic though what if the republicans are using this to push you guys to concede on some of these more onerous provisions the 1099 thing the the coverage issue and that this is their and way of pushing against the wall. Th then it's bad, because what we should have done is gotten together. We have respective committee, three of them. They could have had hearings, got together on a bipartisan, let the committees get together, have the chairman, have the hearings, call the witnesses, and begun the negotiation. Yeah, but wasn't that, that the rap well, against you guys when you were in the majority, that when you crafted this, you didn't do that? Can, can I tell you something? I, I served on the Financial Services Committee. We certainly had hearings. Most hearings, I had more Republicans than I did Democrats on my committee. I hope that Republicans uh, do that in kind as, as they become in the majority. But here's my point. The point is we should let the legislative process, because they said we're coming as new Democrat, we're coming as a new Republican Party. We're not going to uh, do the things the Republicans did. We're going to be transparent and clear, and we're going to have legislative hearings, and we didn't have any. So, number one, I think that would have been a more appropriate way well, to do Well, they were this. pretty transparent does, about this. Does, so does, I, I know what you're saying, yeah, but, but they made but, it clear what they were trying to do. They wanted okay, to vote to repeal my, this. I, I understand they wanted to vote to repeal right. it, but we have a legislative process that we should vote. But let me okay. just say this. Look, I think the bill is huge. And as with most bills, I've been here, we do tweak them. We do make corrections. Lord knows we don't know everything. We can't see everything. We're not clairvoyant. And so I think things can be. So but you I'll think, you uh, Congressman, when the president delivers the State of the Union address next week, he's going to offer that, that the, there'll be some tweaking when it comes to this health care law, I, he's going to adjust some stuff. So he sees the right. Neil, 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 this is my, this is my 10th term in Congress, and you're not going to get me to say that I know or bet on anything that the president might say next week. Uh, I, I'm, that's just too far up the food chain for me. But let me just suggest to you this. Uh, Pre-existing conditions, never going to be touched. The fact that your 26-year-old daughter or son, because we live in a new day, in a new age, maybe when I was a kid, 18, you kind of left the house. Today, they stay with us a lot longer. And those well, kind you of just gave my daughter another, another reason not to leave. But uh, that's a whole you know other, something, but our that's kids, another whole but other Neil, show. Come on. Neil, Neil, that's a whole other show. But yes. you got to admit, it's great. You keep them as long as you can because Absolutely. when they leave, you can't wait to kid. have them back. And they should have yes, health care because they're working their college loans and they're getting their master's and we want them to get their PhDs. Neil. So we did okay. those kinds of things, pre-existing conditions. We want to keep the doctor gotcha. out. All right, well, so, so in other words, there's a lot of this bill to, to work this out. We'll watch it closely. Congressman, I always enjoy having you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. All right. All right. Tell